hypocrisy Remoner Heseltine ripped after asking Tories to back Corbyn to thwart Brexit. Lord Heseltine risked infuriating his Tory colleagues by claiming a Labour Party government, led by the hard-left veteran, could be better for Britain than Brexit. He made the claims on a political podcast which usually features Liberal Democrat politicians. Lord Heseltine told the Limehouse podcast, Well, we have survived Labour governments before. Their damage tends to be short-term and capable of rectification. Brexit is not short-term and is not easily capable of rectification. There will be those who question whether the short-term pain justifies the avoidance of the long-term disaster. The arch-remainer then appeared on Sky News, where he was asked to justify his comments. Lord Heseltine said he would ignore calls from Brexiteers to hold a second referendum if the 2016 vote had gone in the favour of Remain. Upon that suggestion, the Sky News host said, there's an element of hypocrisy in that, isn't there? The Tory peer replied, no, not at all, not at all. Parliamentary democracy rests power in Parliament and particularly the House of Commons. That's where decisions have to be taken. And, even when they are taken. Even when we've had Labour governments, with a mandate, people like me and the Conservative Party have fought their decisions line by line in the House of Commons. Then when they've had an election and we've won, we've changed them. That is what Parliament is fully entitled to do. The fact that there was a referendum, on a very imprecise issue, is a stepping stone, but the ultimate decision rests with Parliament. As a parliamentarian myself, Anything I'm asked to do, I will do it in the national interest. Theresa May has now been urged by leading Brexiteers to withdraw the Conservative whip from Lord Heseltine after his unprecedented comments. Norman Tebbit, a former cabinet minister and Brexiteer, has questioned his colleagues' loyalty and suggested he is banned from the Tory benches in the House of Lords. He said, I think it is unprecedented for a man in receipt of the Conservative whip to suggest a Corbyn government would be preferable to a British government governing the UK, given that the alternative he is advocating is Brussels. It must call in to question whether his loyalty is to the UK or a foreign power.